here I am using two types of soil sample uh, sample A and sample B and first of all we will have to study the texture of the soil sample and uh, for here by holding in our hands we can feel the texture of the soil and also we will have to study the color of the soil that you can find here that sample A is dark in color and this is sample B is light in color by which we can understand that sample A contain more amount of humus because it is a garden soil okay and so in garden uh, humus is high and this is dark color okay and sample B is a roadside soil and for that reason there is uh, humus amount will be low and it is whitish in color and now uh, by holding this type of two types of soil we can understand that the sample b which is roadside soil is softer and granular grainy con grainy condition and is the amount of humus in sample b is low than sample a and now I am going to perform uh, soil profile and for this practical I will have to take first a measuring cylinder and I am taking some amount of soil sample in it. After that, we will have to add water. Here I am using 100 ml of water. And after that, we will have to shake it properly. this way okay we will have to shake it properly that soil particles get mixed with water and after that I will have to set aside for settle down at least to one day to study the soil profile. In the meantime, you can test the pH of the soil by using a pH paper. Now I am using a pH paper strip. it and dip it in the soil solution. Let it to be dry for few minutes and next match the color with pH paper and you can see its pH around 8 its pH around 8 ok and after settlement you can find that this settlement upper portion this portion is found humus is accumulated and here la fine layers are found 
like you can find in your screen here you can see soil profile here in humus and other layers are found here if you if we keep it aside for one day you can find more data present okay now i am going to show you how to measure the water holding capacity of soil and for this practical first of all you will have to dry up soil sample by using hot air oven here i have dried the soil sample and one another thing is required that is blotting paper and so first of all we we'll have to wait it you we'll have to take some a little amount of water and we we'll have to be careful this is necessary because blotting paper should not absorb water in this practical that we can get the proper result how much water can we hold by the sample soils and now we will have to hold it and place it to the fan properly as this blotting paper attached to the wall of the fan and now I am adding soil sample. Dry soil sample should be added. Okay. After that, I will take fifty ml of water in the measuring cylinder. And we'll add fifty ml of water in the soil. slowly this step should be done very slowly at this step we can use a match stick or toothpick to assure that total soil sample is properly get water or 
is wet. This is the last time I am adding the remaining water. Now we will have to wait till the last drop released from the soil sample. By performing these steps practicals like pH of the soil, moisture holding capacity of the soil and also the texture of the soil, we can understand the type of vegetation can be grown in this soil. Okay. I will take this water. the measuring cylinder and till the last drop we will have to collect and we will measure the amount C. This is 40 ml. That means I have taken 50 ml of water. I have taken 50 ml of water and now I get 40 ml of water. That means the most 20 gram of water dry soil I have used that means 20 gram of this type of ropeside soil can contain or hold 10 ml of water and in this way we can calculate the water holding capacity of a particular soil sample.